hello to everyone welcome to my channel i'm glad to see you here uh, we will crochet more lovely toys together on my channel and uh, today we will crochet these little snowmen uh, it's tall but it's about uh, 22 centimeters and for this toy you will need I will use a simple plush yarn 120 meters to 100 gram and uh, you may use any yarn as you like so uh, you will need nearly 30 gram of white color yarn and uh, about 10 gram of gray color or brown color for bucket and uh, about 10 gram of additional color for scarf and for t-shirt or what is in the center part of the body you also will need uh, safety eyes i used black color 20 mm, 12 millimeters and uh, cotton acrylic yarn of orange color for the nose so uh, and uh, i also used a crochet hook number four four millimeters so let's start crocheting uh, with the uh, legs We start with white color yarn and the first round we need to make eight single crochet into the magic ring. I walk two single crochet and eight single crochet into the second stitch from the hook. Three, four, Six, seven, and the last one, the eighth. Then the next round is eight increases. We just walk two single crochet into the each stitch of the previous round. It should be eight increases in a round. And then we should have 16 single crochet. And the next round three, we just walk 16 single crochet without changing it's done and the next round four we walk eight decreases I walk decrease taking front loops only. Three, four, five, six, seven, and eight and now we need to stuff the detail with fiber fill not very hard but a bit enough 
and close the detail, fold in half and work for single crochet. Two parts of the leg together. Two, three, and four. Fasten off. And cut the yarn and uh, crochet the second leg following the same instructions by yourself and now we start to crochet the arms the first round is six single crochet into the magic ring or two chain stitch and six single crochet into the second stitch Four, five, and six. The second round is six increases. One, two, three. Four, five, and six. It should be twelve stitches in a round. And the next round three, we walk twelve single crochet without changing. Three, four, five. Nine, ten, eleven, and twelve. And the next round four, the last round is one single crochet and one decrease. Repeat four times. We will not close the arm. We will crochet it into the body into rounds so walk one single crochet in one decrease four times and then we make slip stitch and fasten off cut the yarn the arm is ready and do not stuff it now and to walk the second one by yourself. Now we go on to the body. Start with white color yarn and with eight single crochet into the magic ring. Three. Four, five, six, seven, and eight. The next round is eight increases. It should be 16 stitches in a round and the next round 3 we walk one single crochet and one increase repeat 8 times. Place the marker to identify the beginning of the round and start crocheting. One increase followed oh sorry one single crochet followed by one increase. At the end of this round it should be 24 single crochet. And the last one. And the next round four 
we walk two single crochet and one increase repeat eight times two off camera in the next round five we will crochet legs into the body so we start with three single crochet and one increase repeat two times two three single crochet and one increase then we take the first leg and crochet three single crochet and one increase with leg taking loops on the leg and loops on the body three and increase then we walk three single crochet and one increase between legs take the second leg and walk three single crochet and one increase together with the second leg one two three and increase and finish the round by three single crochet and one increase repeat three times three increase and the last one at the end of the round it should be 40 stitches and the next three rounds six seven and eight we just walk 40 single crochet without changing walk it by yourself finished the next round nine and we'll start to make decreases we walk eight single crochet and one decrease repeat four times walk this round till the end by yourself at the end of the round it should be 36 single crochet and the next round 10 we just walk 36 single crochet by yourself finished and the next round 11 we walk four single crochet and one decrease repeat six times four single crochet followed by one decrease It should be 30 stitches in a round and the next round 12 we walk one single crochet and one decrease repeat 10 times one single crochet followed by one decrease the first part of the body is ready and now we need to change the color do not finish the last decrease 
and attach the additional color yarn. Finish decrease with in my case it's blue color make a knot and continue crocheting with blue color we work one single crochet and one increase repeat 10 times uh, and uh, we need to take front loops only so the whole round we we work by taking front loops only At the end of the round it should be 30 single crochet. In the last increase I make taking both loops front and back the next round 14 we work five single crochet and one increase repeat five times it should be 35 stitches in a round three four five and increase walk it till the end of the round and the next three rounds 15 16 and 17 we just need to walk 35 single crochet without changing so you need to finish this round and walk three rounds more we finished and the next round uh, in the next round we'll start to crochet arms into the body we will crochet it in two rounds so the first round we work five single crochet and one decrease then we take the arm attach it to the body this way and walk four single crochet with the arm insert the hook into the inner part of the arm and one two and four uh, four single crochet together with the arm and the body three and four and it should be four single crochet uh, on the other part of the arm then we walk one single crochet on the body one decrease five single crochet and one decrease and repeat this combination uh, we start with the arm one more time so walk four single crochet with the arm three and four and 
then one single crochet, one decrease, and five single crochet and one decrease till the end of the round. Now it should be 30 stitches in a round and in the next round we will continue to crochet the arm and we walk four single crochet and one decrease repeat five times so four single crochet and one decrease then we walk four single crochet on the arm but to avoid the holes be between body and the arm we need to walk the following way walk into the next stitch then into the uh, place of connection and then into the first stitch on the hand on the arm and crochet together then the second the third and the fourth and into the place of connection and crochet it together then we walk decrease four single crochet and one decrease and crochet the second arm the same way to the next stitch to the stitch of connection place to the first stitch on the hand second third and fourth together with the place of connection one decrease and four single crochet and one decrease finished it should be 25 stitches in a round and the next round 12 20 we walk two single crochet and one decrease repeat six times two single crochet followed by one decrease the last one two and decrease it is left one stitch till the end of the round but we need to make one decrease in this round so we work one decrease taking the first stitch of the next round it should be 18 stitches in a round now and we need to move the marker to this place so now it will be the beginning of the round here the beginning of the next round the beginning and the end of course and we may cut the blue yarn we do not need it anymore we need to stuff the 
arms now. Also not very hard, but to feel. We will continue crocheting with white color yarn. Do not finish the last stitch and finish it with white color. Make a knot. And the next round we will walk taking back loops only to make the color change more smooth the next round is one single crochet and one decrease Repeat six times and taken back loops only. finished and uh, the next round on the contrary we walk taken by front loops only we need to crochet 12 increases taking front loops only at the end of the round it should be 24 single crochet The next 23 round we walk 3 single crochet and 1 increase, repeat 6 times. At the end of the round it should be 30 single crochet. And next five rounds from 24 till 28 we need to, cro to crochet 30 single crochet without changing. Make it by yourself and now we need to stuff the body with the fiber fill. Do not fill this part. Uh, only fill round part of the body to form the balls. It should be three balls. I have crocheted five rounds and the next round 29 we walk three single crochet and one decrease repeat six times three single crochet and one decrease 
and then we will place the ice. At the end of this round it should be 24 single crochet. Now we take ice we need to place them between rounds eight and uh, round six and seven from the beginning of the head and it should be six single crochet between the holes under the eyes Fasten off the eyes and uh, I use light to make it more safety. Just this way. And the second. Now it's more secure. And we may continue crocheting fill the head with fiber and finish the head by walking round 30 and 31 just one single crochet and one decrease repeat eight times and the next round is eight decreases now we need to tighten the ring with the help of sewing needle. We need to take eight front loops of the last round. and tighten the hole fasten off and hide the thread in the head now we will crochet the carrot the nose with cotton acrylic yarn and start with three single crochet into the magic ring it is the first round And the second round is uh, three increases.
it should be six stitches in a round turn the part out to the right side and to the next round three we work two single crochet and one increase repeat twice It should be eight stitches in a round. And next three rounds, four, five, and six, we work eight single crochet without changing and the last round of this detail is one single crochet and one increase repeat four times then we need to stuff the nose it is very convenient to use chopstick to stuff it make slip stitch at the end of the round leave the tail a bit longer to sew it to the head and sew the nose between the eyes in the center of the head mm one round lower than the eyes make it by yourself now we need to be, to make the tightening of the head as you if you want insert the needle between the head and the body go to the right eye then back to the neck and go to the left eye return the thread and tighten both threads together pull it a bit and make a knot then hide the threads in the head now we need to make buttons or snowballs with white color yarn i will embroider it you may see real buttons
we just need to make several stitches in each level insert and pull out the needle into the same holes into the same place insert into the one place and pull out uh, one single crochet uh, left and make 10 or 15 stitches as you like for each snowball for each button then go two rounds up and embroider two other buttons the same way so look like this and now we need to crochet the bucket i will use gray colored yarn and start to crochet with eight single crochet into the magic ring the first round the second round is eight increases and the next round three we walk 16 single crochet taken uh, back loops only in order to form the bottom of the bucket sixteen single crochet taken back loops only and then there is nothing uh, too hard to crochet the other part of the bucket we just need to crochet each round uh, the fourth round six single crochet and one increase repeat twice then we walk 18 single crochet the round six five single crochet and one increase repeat thrice then 21 single crochet without changing round eight we walk six single crochet and one increase repeat three times then 24 single crochet and the last round of the bucket is seven single crochet and one increase repeat three times it should be 27 stitches in a round and we walk slip stitch at the end of the last round and for bucket handle we walk 15 chain stitches then connect this chain to the other side of the bucket with the help of slip stitch then walk one more slip stitch and fasten off
stuff the bucket with fiber fill. To make the form of the bucket and seal it in on the head of the snowman in any place you like. It is left to crochet the scarf. I walked chain uh, 71 and then from the second stitch from the hook uh, walked 70 single crochet you also may make fringe on the scarf this way I used ends of the beginning and of the end of the crochet and make one more on this side and make two on the other sides. Then cut them together. and burn the ends that's all the scarf is ready and our snowman is ready too. I hope you like this video. Thank you for crocheting with me. Thank you for your subscriptions and comments. such a lovely snowman we have and uh, see you in the next video and crochet more toys together bye bye